Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates in. Don't manifest the rest. If it don't fit, don't make it. Alright. So today is story time. We're going to do a chakra reading and then get into the the gist of it, all right? At the seat or the root, Scorpio, is your intuition. You see the ankh. Listen to it. Rest and rejuvenate. Do not suffer fools. Sacral chakra. You're being led somewhere, Scorpio. Listen to it. In the sacral, we have victory and success. Triumphant success. So you've overcome your desire. Congratulations. That's a big one. Solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus chakra. Patience. We just had rest and rejuvenate, so that's being patient about what's next. You've planted the seed. Now it's time to watch it grow. 114 right in front of my face right now. The heart chakra. Nice. This lion gate's, lion's gate was very important for you, Scorpio. So you could find your power in love. And your authority in the world. Be wise as serpents. Throat chakra. What is it, the throat chakra from my Scorpios? Temptation. Be careful of the whispers that you hear in the dark. Be wise as serpents or dragons in our case. Baby dragons. Third eye. What's at the third eye, spirit? Fertility, harmony, and spiritual union of the masculine and the feminine. Bringing your power to fruition or your third eye. This is a balance of the masculine and feminine energies. Remember that. You already know where you need to go. You just haven't quite figured out the entire plan right now. And the crown chakra. Foundations and achievements. You will need to sacrifice the mental conflict for the truth. Whatever is plaguing your mind. is in the way of your stability in the crown. 1144 You must delete whatever is 
stopping your foundation from being solid. It's in the mind. What is the intuition about spirit? What is the intuition of the root chakra? I know. Trust me, Scorpio, I know. I battle with it too, so I get it. <clears throat> this is the high priestess energy here. What is this high priestess or intuition energy about, spirit? Page of Cups. As of this full moon, you will understand more about the past and why it had to be that way. And why you might be being held up right now. What's this page of cups about, spirit? Where does your power lie? I think you're finding that out right now. Although it can be a bit confusing with these swords in your head, you're witnessing your own power here in your root chakra, your foundations, and what it truly means to spin that wheel of fortune. You're learning. Page is all about beginnings. You're learning how to be the boss of your own life. What is this triumphant success in the, in the sacral chakra spirit? What is this triumphant success? You got the memo. Six of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. You got the message of where to put your soul your your sacral chakra energy. And it wasn't where you thought it was. It wasn't where you thought it was. You're seeing through the illusions and the lies right now, although it can be a bit shocking. It can be a bit ungrounding. Um, you are getting a lot of attention right now, and there is a purpose to that. Use it wisely. What is this patience about in the solar plexus chakra? What is stopping you from finding your power, Scorpio? You have it on you, okay? You're pregnant with it, even if you're not childbearing. You are pregnant with an idea and you feel like you're trapped, like you're restricted in some way. It could be due to other people. Maybe you're putting too much importance on what other people think or say or do or Be patient with yourself. 
You have your work cut out for you. Be patient with others as well. They're not in the same place you are. And you have to understand that you have to be willing to help guide them. Let the misunderstandings go because not all are going to be on the same path. And if they humiliate you or make you feel less than, it will, it will interrupt your solar plexus, which is your connection between heaven and earth, the bridge. And you need that bridge to find your power. And I do believe you're finding your power. Hell to the yeah. Power over the devil. Power over your restrictions. And a brand new beginning and understanding on what truly is important to you. Again, seeing through the lies. Seeing through the things that are not of any use to you right now, Scorpio. Like stupid arguments from the past. What has hurt you in the past and in the world? Look at this. You're having power over this. That is a lot in your heart chakra. There's been a lot of pain and a lot of sadness, but you are overcoming it and you are overpowering it. Keep going. What is this temptation about in the throat chakra? As I said before, Things whispered in the dark. Money. Materialism. Letting go of what was through this lion's gate and this Leo new moon. Letting go of an outcome or allowing a manipulation and more pain. It's up to you. It really is. Speak it and it shall be so. What does it say to Pentacles about spirit? Four of Pentacles. Lack. Not having enough and holding on to something that you believe to be true. But is it? It's a temptation. What is this fertility in the third eye? Growth through pain. You know what's been done in the dark here.
but it's leading you right to this Ten of Pentacles because you're going after what you want. And you, with your third eye, it's leading you to that thing. This is tangible. Do not listen to people who tell you you're not enough, Scorpio. Because that is where the temptation is coming in in this reading. What people say and do are none of your concern at this point because all that does is keep you in lack and fighting for all the wrong things. Think on a broader scale here. Think what family is to you, what a foundation is to you personally and go in that direction because when you see it with your third eye and the pain that's been caused to keep you from coming online you learn how to accept it you learn how to move on from it and you learn how to heal from it two of pentacles but as long as you're juggling and you're not listening to your higher self in this in this energy you won't find your crown and the devil can tempt you and lead you away from your son time to stick up for yourself by moving on it doesn't mean that you have to physically fight anybody or, or physically be um, involved. This is finding your son through the material world. And moving in that direction. moving in that direction. All right. Let's see if we can get some more information here. Expectation, wealthy man, home. or house. There's something you're meant to do here, Scorpio. Something to do with an occupation, an honor. Even though, even, even though you are surrounded by thieves. Don't know what that means. There's an expectation here. A thought. And a new journey. Fight through the demons, Scorpio. And be wise as serpents. and flow like fishies. Truth unveil past life present power. This card says these the there are times when appearances of people, places and things are deceptive. You will sense this when someone feels uncomfortable with it. Something feels uncomfortable within you. When you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you, you may think that there is something wrong with you, but actually, you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. Trust what you feel, not what appears to be. 
past life, present power. As the soul grows in service to the great, great feminine and her intention that all beings be healed and free, it gathers internal resources to assist us on, this, on our path. These resources include powers and gifts from other lifetimes. You are currently integrating past life abilities. Be open to what is taking place in your soul. As your soul awakens ancient power and abilities within you, enter the healing chamber. I'm going to get a dragon oracle for guidance. Sorry guys, it's really early in the morning. I'm still half asleep. <laughs> I'm still half asleep. So if I sound a little rough, that's why. But you know, I got to do these messages when I'm guided to do them because that is my job. Sing gold. Courage. I think you've gotten this one before. I think it's a guardian. No, it's an earthwalk dragon. So this is an earthwalk dragon. This is, this is, oh, what is this? I didn't even see that. Spirit. So we have two for you today. Spirit and Singled. They're both Earthwalk Dragons. So this is your walk through your chakra system in order to find your power that lies deep within. All right. This one says, do that which lifts your heart and bring forth your deep inner smile from within. Single is a dragon of, of gratitude. When, when he arrives, we need to take notice and, and, of and acknowledge our old negative patterns. The temptation of lack. He asks us to recognize old emotional blocks. For example, these can be self-doubt fear, or jealousy. He has these words to say about gratitude. Review your life to date and find the things to be grateful for so you can rejoice in who you are. Acknowledge the fears, envy, guilt, or anger within. Accept the niggling doubts and admit they are present, for they are part of you. But you have no need to dwell there. For they are part of your past and no longer relevant to your life now. Instead, revel in the, in the pure joy of being alive. Seek the positive in your existence here on earth. Uncover the things to rejoice about. Do that which lifts your heart to bring forth your deep inner smile from within. Seek a totem to act as a reminder. This can be an object small enough to carry or wear daily. Maybe a beautiful shell or a crystal. Set the intention within it to stay focused on being joyful, joyous and grateful. So that when this totem is, in, is on your person, it reminds you that all is as it should be. You are learning the lessons of gratitude and you are exactly where you should be now. Think, chant, write or sing. Joy, happiness, peace, laughter, but above all, gratitude. Put it to music. Dance with it. Practice gratitude numerous times daily until joy and feeling grateful become an, an intrinsic part of your everyday life. Count your blessings until the attitude of gratitude resides in your heart and settles you into a new pattern of being. Go forward with love deep in your heart.
Spirit is number 66, which symbolizes balance. You are truly awesome and your own creator. Spirit appears to us when we are gearing up for another steep learning curve on our spiritual path. path. He connects most strongly with those who have begun to work on themselves and are well and truly underway with their spiritual journey. His arrival pr frequently precedes those whose job it is to work for the planet and humankind. The dragon spirit connects with those in a particular way who have embarked upon the transitional journey of deep self-healing and self-understanding and those beginning to recognize the bigger picture within the circle of life. He reminds us that everything is interconnected. There is no separation. He says, this is no, there is no you and I as separate beings. We are all one energy. If he has swooped into your reading today, he says, call upon my energy to support you as you prepare for the next step in your amazing journey. You will go through a myriad of shifts and changes, self-doubt and euphoria as you embrace the next deep learning process. I am here to guide you through those shifts and changes. You are a spiritual being in physical form and you have the potential to live a soul-filled experience, existence on earth. You are truly awesome and your own creator. So embrace what is to come on the next leg of your journey. If you are feeling spiritually disconnected, lost, or simply overwhelmed, call on spirit to guide your way. Your job here is to watch and listen to your feelings. Sudden flashes of inspiration, and as always, signs and symbols from the dragon clans. Although these are sent by dragons, they can be subtle, so be aware and look out for them. Meditate with spirit and ask for, the, for his guidance to inspire and enlighten you. Wow. What a reading, Scorpio. Holy shit balls. That was, that, that was intense, guys. I'm not going to lie. That was super intense. I hope you got the meaning of all this and looking for your power and finding it through your own wisdom all right those are your messages my baby dragons please remember press the like button subscribe and share and i'll see you tomorrow or actually three o'clock today we're having a live stream so come on over hang out with me take care bye